Since becoming a regular in stardom, Riho has done a pretty good job. She is a veteran in the business and pretty skilled. Unfortunately, I do have a problem with her run so far in stardom. This isn't against her, as with pretty much every promotion, a wrestler doesn't decide the outcome of their matches. Since her introduction, she has had 12 matches not including the Mask Fiesta, as those matches are just for fun and are pretty much non-canon in terms of who beats who. Like I said, she has had 12 matches. Her current matches in stardom have had four different outcomes. Either she won the match, her team won, her team lost, or time limit draw. No matter what though, she hasn't lost personally, and that's the problem. She has had two singles matches, and one was against Leo Onozaki, so obviously she should have won that one. The other was against Death Yamasan, or Kaiori Yoniyama for those who don't know, which is really up to you whether she should have won that one or not. I don't really have a problem with it personally, but I could see why some might. So already we have two straight singles wins, but nothing too groan worthy. Out of the 10 non-single matches, she personally has won four of them, pinning the likes of Starlight Kid, Leo Onozaki, and Nazuko Tora. So still, nothing too groan worthy. Trust me guys, the problem I have isn't who she is beating so far, it's something else. Out of the 10 non-single matches she is in, her team has won 3 of them. So in total, she has been on the winning side 7 times out of 10. So her team only lost 2 times, which is okay I guess, I mean, most people tend to have some dominance once they join a promotion for a bit. The problem is, is when you start thinking about why she hasn't lost a single match personally since joining. Unlike some of the other people who were dominant for a long time, her reason is kind of annoying to me. A wrestler in stardom being practically unbeatable isn't something new. Io Shirai for the most part would never take pins, B Priestley went on a streak of never being pinned for months, so why do I have a problem with Riho's streak and not B's? It's very simple. During B's streak, she was just being pushed as a dominant foreign wrestler, and I actually liked it. She didn't beat anybody too crazy, and she had the look, size, and ability to justify it. When she did start beating people higher up on the card, it was after she had won the singles belt. So, obviously. The problem with Riho is why she can't lose. Not that she isn't losing. As we all know, she is currently AEW's women's champion. This causes problems because AEW can't have their champion losing to people from other promotions. So that results in every match either ending in her winning or someone else taking the pin. Every match is a spoiler with her in it because if the match has been going on for a while and her partner tags her in towards the end, then it's obvious who's going to win because she can't lose. I know some might be thinking, well, it's already kind of obvious who's going to win based on the matchups, and I'd agree. The problem is, is that even if it is a one in a million chance Leo would pin Hazuki, that's still a chance. With Riho, there is no chance. It's zero. As long as Rio holds the AEW belt, she is unbeatable in stardom, and that is really bad. With that ever-growing roster size, giving these pushes to outside people seems less and less acceptable in my eyes. Stardom has so many people that they don't need to bring people in and be stuck making them look strong at the expense of their own roster anymore. This is the exact same scenario that we went through during the faction-produced shows after the draft. Tony Storm was NXT UK Women's Champion, and she couldn't lose. The closest she got was tying Momo in a singles match. Things like this should not be happening. If you have a wrestler who can't lose, then don't put them in important things, because every win just feels cheap and undeserved, regardless of their skill level. Right now, Stardom is currently in the Tag League and about halfway through, while Starlight Kid and Riho are not going to the finals. If you look at the record so far, it's pretty obvious that Riho is getting some special treatment. The first match she pins Nasco Tora. The second match Starlight Kid takes the pin from B Priestley. The third match it ends in a time limit draw against the tag team champions. This is kind of ridiculous. I can hear people saying though, well Riho is good enough to carry Starlight Kid in the tournament. But the team of Momo and Azumi already have two losses. Momo is the ace of stardom and Azumi is a better wrestler than Starlight Kid. 
Are you telling me that Riho is so good that she is able to not only make up for Starlight Kid's low status on the card, but beat the matchup of Mayu Iwatani and Saki Kashima when Momo and Izumi couldn't? The problem here is not that Riho is dominant. Like I said before, she's a veteran and pretty good in the ring. The problem is, is why she can't lose in stardom. No one likes an unbeatable person, especially when it's someone whose moves seem very lacking in power or impact. I get that in wrestling, when a move is labeled a finisher, it's more powerful and should be treated as such. But, we have spent Momo's entire career seeing the Samato as nothing more than a transition move that never works. Now, with a slightly better version, we are supposed to expect Riho is able to put out Nasuko Tora and Death Yamasan with it. It just doesn't seem like it's enough, especially when the rest of her offense doesn't feel like it's adding damage either. That can be forgiven though, as like I said, this is wrestling, and in wrestling a move isn't just what it looks like. But it doesn't mean it should be ignored though. All in all, until I see her take a pin from someone, Every single win and avoided pin from her is going to feel cheap and unearned. What she did and does outside of stardom doesn't mean much and shouldn't give her Superman status when these girls have been working hard for years to earn their spot. Before anybody starts commenting, but skill should be all that matters. There is no earning your spot. From everything I've seen, Riho shouldn't be more than a high mid carder or a low top carder in stardom. She is really good but everyone on top in stardom is better. Hot take, I know. In conclusion, I'm enjoying her time in stardom, but at the same time, it's becoming very annoying. <laughs>